So I recently walked into the room and told my wife that I was retiring from collecting comics. And no sooner did I finish that sentence than she busted out laughing. And once the laughing subsided, she quickly pointed out to me that my hobby was very important to her. It was very important because it keeps me out of her hair. So needless to say, I am not retiring from collecting comics, but I will tell you that I have taken some time to reflect upon my collection. And I've taken this time to reflect upon the collection because recently I was able to add Incredible Hulk issue number one to my collection. And to some degree or another, I have achieved a major milestone that I have set out for my collection. And the question is, what comes next if not retirement? Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. I am honestly interested to hear what your significant others say if you walk into the room right now and say what it is that I said to my wife about leaving the hobby behind. If you decide to take up that challenge, let me know down in the comment section what they have to say. But I did utter this to my wife and you heard what her response was. And I can tell you for a fact that I have no intention of walking away from this hobby. I enjoy the hobby, I enjoy creating content for YouTube and all of the other platforms that I'm on. So I have no intention of walking away anytime soon, but I do need to think about what it is that actually comes next for me. And I say that because I set out to achieve a couple of really big goals. And I started this a few years ago. One of the big goals was to put together a complete run of Amazing Spider-Man. I was able to do that. The next big thing was to acquire Amazing Fantasy issue number 15. I was able to do that. The next really big goal was to try to assemble what I think is a respectable collection of Silver Age comics. And I have essentially done that. With the acquisition of Incredible Hulk issue number one, I have essentially done it. And so the question, of course, is what comes next? I will tell you that first and foremost, I'm going to take some time to reflect upon what it is that I have accomplished. After all, this is like the season of, of Thanksgiving, if you will. So I am going to take some time to reflect upon what it is that I've I've done and to appreciate, you know, all of the people that have come together to allow me to make this magic happen for my collection. And, and I do mean that because there are a lot of people that reached out to me to, to buy books from me so that I could use those proceeds to acquire some of these books. There are people that bought things from ReggieCollects.com. Those proceeds went towards the purchase of these books. There are people that watch the content, the ad revenue from the videos went towards me buying these books. So I'm going to take some time to reflect upon, you know, what it is that, that I've accomplished with your help. And I am uh, going to be displaying all of these comics that in my mind make up what is a respectable collection of Silver Age books. And, and after I do that, I'm probably going to set some new goals for myself. There is a chance that I will start to look at Golden Age. And this is something that I've been talking about probably for a couple of years. There have a lot, been a lot of people that have been trying to uh, push me in the direction of Golden Age. And I kept saying to those people, and you remember this, that there are things that I need to do first. There are books that I want to acquire in the Silver Age before I move into the Golden Age. Now, this might be the time. This might be the time that I start to dip my toe into those golden age waters. Uh, but I can tell you for a fact that I consider the golden age to be a very different market. It's, it's dynamics, I think, are different from modern comics and from silver age comics. And I'm going to take some time, if I go in that direction, to do some research, to educate myself, to make sure that I know what it is that I'm getting myself into. And then after that, the books that I want to go after and the, the rationale behind them. 
there is another thing that I'm thinking about doing, and that is taking some time to better organize the 100K collection. I've made some tremendous progress over the last you know year or so after you know the whole the acquisition and uh, the the various moves and all that kind of stuff. I've made some progress in getting things organized, but there's a lot more room for improvement. There is you know the potential that maybe I'll acquire some additional collections to set myself up for the future. One of the things that I've hinted at is maybe I'll become a dealer when I retire. And I don't know when that'll be. I mean, I'd like to retire now, but I don't think that that's possible. Uh, but maybe I'll buy some collections and squirrel away some nice books for the future. I, I, I don't know. And that's part of the reason why I want to take a step back. I want to evaluate what I've accomplished and to think about what actually comes next for me. So we will see. And as soon as I land on something, I will certainly keep you all updated. I will tell you that I am in no rush. <laughs> I am in no rush to do what it is that I just described. So Jeff, definitely uh, be patient because I don't think that this is going to be something that I'm going to rush into. Uh, one of the other things that I am considering is diving head first into trying to build out my new garage. And, and I, I mention that because so much of that new garage space is actually going to be dedicated to the collection and also a new studio. And so that might be a big area of focus for me moving forward. Maybe it won't be buying a bunch of new books and, and expensive comics versus me, you know, trying to get that space built and, and honestly finance because it is expensive. So we will see. And, and as I mentioned, I will definitely keep you all posted. Uh, with that, I am about to go maybe have some more leftover turkey. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I definitely want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly hope that you enjoyed looking at the books that I've been trying to display throughout this video, if nothing else. Uh, but with that said, I am going to wrap this up. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care.